Hey guys, how's it going? And in this video, I want to talk about my Google interview experience. So, as many of you know, I have been working at Google for over one and a half years now, and I got into Google as a software engineering intern. This video is going to be very, very insightful for you, and I think you will get to learn a lot from that. So, let's get right into it. First of all, how did I apply? So, I applied using a referral. This was not an on-campus opportunity. Please, please understand that once and for all that this was an off-campus opportunity. So even if you are from any college, it doesn't matter. You can still apply to Google off-campus. So I applied off-campus with a referral. So I texted a Google employee on LinkedIn and I asked them for a referral. I have made multiple videos on how you can get a referral. So make sure I link them all below or you can go ahead and check them out here as well. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. So applied using a referral. And then after that, what I did was that after over about two weeks or one to two weeks, I got a message from a recruiter that they want to schedule my first round of interview, which would be a phone screen. So it will be a technical phone screen. It won't be behavioral or anything else. It will just be technical phone screen. So then for my technical phone screen, I was asked to prepare for basic computer science concepts and data structures, algorithms, including time and space complexity. So this interview round the phone screen is actually only taken by a recruiter and not a technical person. So you cannot expect very technical questions or very algorithm heavy questions. You can expect general question concepts around computer science fundamentals, time and space complexity and algorithms. So my first technical interview, that was a technical phone screen. It went out for about 30 minutes. And they were mostly questions around what I'm doing currently, where I'm studying, in which year I'm in, and computer science questions. Then I was asked around some data structures. I was asked about common sorting algorithms, their time and space complexity, search algorithms, their time and space complexity. I was also asked high level about the projects that I've worked on, what tech stack I have worked on. So in this interview, they're just really looking to see if you are the right candidate for make it for this role so you don't have to worry a lot about knowing everything just yet but you should know enough then for after that i got a mail from a recruiter that i have passed the technical phone screen and then i was also given prep interviews for my on-site interviews so my on-site interviews they were two on-site interviews they were each 45 minutes and in each of the interviews it was solely based on data structures and algorithms there were no questions related to my project or my past interview experience or past internship experience, everything was just solely based on the data structures and algorithms and coding questions. So they give you a prep list as well that you have to prepare and they will give you a high level about, you know, what are the common concepts, what are the common topics that you should prepare and they will give you a lot of prep material as well. Like the Google recruiters will totally help you with that. Now coming to how I prepared, I prepared solely from lead code and I solved all the Google tag questions. There are about 1000 plus questions, but I solved all of them. And then I read the past interview experiences as well on lead code itself. There are a lot of interview experiences. They are very helpful. Go ahead and read that. I read interview experiences that were there on Medium. And I also went ahead and watched mock interviews on YouTube from past Google engineers. So you can see mock interviews from Clement Mihail's few like things. He has done a few mock interview videos. So you can go ahead and check that out. But apart from that, I also prepped from this site called Algo Monster. It is very, very comprehensive. You can go ahead and learn everything from there. So for my recent interviews also, I go, went ahead and prepared everything from Algo Monster. So when you're on time crunch, this site can really help you with preparing for your technical coding interviews. Now coming to if you are totally new to data structures and algorithms and how you can prepare for that because Google interviews are solely based on data structures and algorithms. You can go ahead and prep from a site called Scrimba. So I didn't use it for my prep because that time this site was not available. But if today I was preparing again for my Google interviews, this is a site that I would genuinely use because you can get to practice, you can get to learn and you get a hands on practice. So you're basically coding while you're learning and if you're not coding and just learning the algorithms it's not going to help you at all because at the end of the day you have to code and google is looking for engineers who can code and not just write pseudo code all those sites the resources that i mentioned elbow monster scrimba will be mentioned in the description below as well now coming to my interview experience and what that was about so my interview experience was about 45 minutes each two rounds of interviews each was with one googler if there, in case if there's a new interviewer you can expect a shadow interviewer. They won't ask you any questions. They would just be there to observe and learn from the other interviewer, not from you. So in that case, you might see two interviews, but generally there would only be one interviewer. So that was the way 
so it starts with a quick intro five minutes are for introduction how are you doing and all of that 35 minutes is for coding and the last five minutes are for asking any questions that you have to the interviewer and make sure you utilize those five minutes last asking them about the work they do and uh, what it's what work they do what technologies they work on like show that you are really enthusiastic about the company rather than saying i don't have any questions at all so go ahead and do that and in the 35 minutes you will be asked either one hard question and one follow-up or two medium questions so this is what is it always going to be either two medium questions or one hard question and one follow-up so if you are solving anything below than that then there are chances that you won't get a good rating in one of them i was asked a question which was related to graphs and i was asked a question which was related to it was a follow-up of that was a dp based variation of graph in the second round also i was asked a question which was on tree it was related to dfs bfs on tree and the second one was based on dynamic programming on tree so you can imagine that both of them were high level advanced concepts which are both based on dynamic programming trees graphs and these are generally the important topics that you will be asked in google interviews if you want a complete list of what interviews are important, again, the site Elgo Monster can really help you a lot. The link will be in the description below. So that was it for my experience. And I was able to solve both of the questions within time with coding. So if you want to know how you can go ahead and prep for these interviews, how you can prep for your Google interviews, I'll make a follow-up video on that because this video is getting too long. If you want a complete breakdown of how you have to really answer questions in Google interview, I will make a follow-up video on that. Just make sure you comment google in the video and i will make a video on that so that is what for my experience and then after one week i got a call from the recruiter that my profile has been selected they asked me for my resume and my transcripts so your transcripts are basically your google mark sheets so i was asked about that and yeah that's it and then after two to three later, days later i got the google offer letter and that was generally the happiest moment of my life and I hope you got to learn a lot from this video. Make sure you comment Google so that I can make a follow-up video on how you should actually answer questions in a Google interview. And subscribe so that you don't miss notifications for any future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, bye-bye.